Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph body types. Okay, so ectomorph, starting all the way on the left here, and that's also on the left in the picture here. Uh, that's a slender, thin build, uh, tend to have kind of long, thin limbs, and, and they might be a little bit taller. Uh, they have relatively low BMI with minimal muscle build or thin muscles. Um, and so this body type also tends to have joint surfaces that are smaller and flatter, which means more joint mobility. So easier motion, more range of motion, but the counter side, of, the opposite of mobility is stability. So with increased joint mobility comes decreased joint stability. Uh, then the opposite end of the spectrum here are endomorph body types. That's also the picture here all the way on the right. Um, so those are body types that are more of a stocky build. They all have more of a relatively high BMI, uh, thicker, denser muscle mass, and it'll be easier for them to build muscle mass. Somebody who's an ectomorph, so back to the first one here, they will have a more difficult time building muscle mass no matter how they train or how they eat. It'll be harder for that body type. Uh, endomorphs, no matter how they eat and how they train, it's harder for them to lose weight and very easy for them to put on more muscle mass. Um, so for endomorphs, uh, they have larger, more concave convex joint surfaces. So meaning that like, they have more kind of shapely joint surfaces that fit together better and lead to more joint stability. Um, and then again, the flip side of that is less joint mobility. Okay, so in the ectomorph, they have small, flat joint surfaces. So they're joint surfaces that don't fit together quite as well. Um, which means there's more mobility and less stability. But with endomorphs, they fit together better. So their joints are much more stable, but at the expense of mobility. Then finally, a mesomorph body type, the one in the center and also the one in the middle in the picture below, um, they're kind of halfway in between on most of these characteristics. Uh, so they tend to be a more medium athletic build, average BMI, more medium muscle build, um, they'll have an easier time losing weight than an endomorph and an easier time building muscle than an ectomorph, um, but they're not really at either extreme. Uh, they have more average joint mobility, average joint stability, and sort of medium-sized joint surfaces. So a mesomorph is sort of splitting the difference between the two extremes where an ectomorph is going to tend to have lower body mass in general, uh, kind of taller, longer, thinner limbs, and an endomorph is the opposite extreme. Uh, they're going to have higher body mass, including denser, thicker muscle, um, and a stockier, thicker build. All right, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.